I'm just so extra. That should be better. Like, I know my eyebrows are long lost cousins. So, I'm not going to stress them too much because at the end of the day, who's going to check me? Guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's me, Peyton. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, and for those of you who do know, thank you for coming back to my channel. You know I appreciate you forever and always. Boom, let's go. So, today, I don't know what I want to do. I'm so indecisive. It's like, do I want to do a no makeup, makeup look, or do I want to give you an everyday makeup look? Do I want to talk during the video? Or do I just want to stay quiet and listen to my music? You know, like, these conflictions, these issues that I face daily, like, being indecisive sucks. I hate it. I hate not being able to make decisions for myself. I just hate it so much. So much. It's so annoying. I think it really depends on how heavy my hand is today. Like, what's it giving? Because... I don't even know what it's given. So, yeah. We're just gonna find out as we go. So, yeah. Let's just jump right into the video. Pause. Chica, 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 chica. Okay, so I went ahead and I applied my brows off camera. They look crazy because I need them done. <laughs> so don't judge the process. Trust the process. I like to use a bright concealer for my brows, for my face, my cheeks, my nose, everything. I like to use a bright concealer. That's just my preference. That's what I like. But instead, like I said, I'm still conflicted. Don't know if it's going to be like an... Um, don't know if it's going to be an everyday makeup routine or if it's going to be a no makeup makeup look so yeah i'm still going to prime my face before any other makeup so the regular decular like i did in my first video elf poreless putty that's my baby i love this like i really love this my pro fight, she put me on to a another primer. The what is it? Milk Cosmetics Grip Primer or Ultra Grip or like Hydrating Grip something something with a grip, Gorilla Grip, <laughs> something grip. And I want to try it. Like I need to try it. I just need to make my way to buying it so until then i'm gonna stick to my regular degular what i'm used to i don't know if, if y'all can tell y'all probably can but i've been breaking out pretty bad um i'm waiting for my sis serum to get here so my skin can get back on track because oh my goodness I'm dying of thirst. I use two primers. I use the Elf Poreless and then the No Pore Blem con uh, Concealer Primer. I use these two. And you know what I found out? I found out that when say for example okay so i'm oily right and i use these two primers if i have a specific ingredient in the other primer that's what's throwing me off and making my makeup runny or making it not stay making me more oily like it's so weird like it's science it's skincare it's it's everything it's everything makeup is really a lot so like i said i want to use a concealer that's closer to my skin tone so i'm using the la pro girl concealer 
in the color fawn so yeah we're just gonna take this put this underneath my eyes and before i move to the next eye i'm going to um set i'm gonna set my eyebrows and move on to the next one neutral shade um, eyeshadow because my eyes my eyelids my face everything about me I'm just extremely oily so I like to go on top of the setting powder with eyeshadow of course so I'm going to use my morphe palette what is this a 25d oh boy palette and the shade I think I'm going to use that is the closest to my skin color. I'm going to start leaving these on uh, my Morphe palette so that way I know what color I'm using. So I don't like that. This shade right here. I don't like that. I don't like that because I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, see? That's what I'm talking about. I can't see what I'm doing. Can't see what I'm pointing at. It's just... I don't know maybe if I like get nice with the edits and I could just like put it up in the camera and then you know get those little effects like the little sparkle or a little explosion on the color then okay but until then I'm keeping these yeah I'm keeping these but I think I'm gonna go with Benji that's the name of this color but if you don't know what I'm talking about Benji is this one right here i'm still do it <laughs> i hate doing it but i'm still do it so that we all know what i'm talking about so yeah we're gonna go with benji my fenty beauty blending brush is a 210 which morphe palettes have mirrors on them that would be bomb <laughs> I set my eyes already with my Morphe palette. Now I'm going to um, conceal the top of my brows with the same concealer. This method I'm about to do for my face, I learned this from the Annihilator. I think I said her name right, I don't know. But um, I learned this from her to one, save product, two, not have a caked up face, and three, save product like who doesn't want that me doing my eyebrows this isn't the method i'm talking about so once i'm done doing this you guys shall see <laughs> method I saw from um, Annihilator and I believe she saw from somebody else I don't know but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my concealer I use the Fenty concealer of course in the shade 350 do like very minor little location like little dots of the concealer in the areas that I would normally conceal but since this is obviously way lighter, I'm going to then use my LA Pro Girl Concealer in the shade Fawn. And I'm going to go on the outside of it. So that way it transitions. Oh, that's a lot. It transitions into my foundation better if that makes sense 
and I already concealed my face, like I said. Boom. We're gonna just blend that all out, and then I'm going to go in with my foundation on the outside of my face, and then do my regular routine, con contour and all that, and everything. So, just gonna watch, blend, boom, bung. concealer blended out I'm going to then apply my foundation this is a sample <laughs> this is a sample foundation it's um Tarte's clay foundation my winter shade it's the next shade up from tan deep honey so whatever that is that's what this sample is and this is my summer shade obviously I'm just going to take my foundation brush and I'm gonna put it like on the outskirt of my um of my face. And then I'm gonna blend that in. Do a little bit here and there. A little dibble, a little dabble, a little this and that. Blend, blend, blend. And then we're done. So before I contour, I want to set my eyes because I got bags. So I want to hurry up and set those because I really hate creasing under my eye. Like, you know, when it's too late. contour again like in my last video or the video before that whenever I did the date night video y'all know what I'm talking about if you're watching my videos um I use the kiss the mineral powder by kiss beauty supply store sleep if you want to if you stay sleep that's perfectly fine with me I'm just gonna use my BH cosmetics brush um it's a 137 brush As you can see, I finished my face. Um, I just need to add highlighter. I applied my lashes off camera. I'm looking around because I need to see like if I forgot anything and I feel like I forgot something. I'm gonna spray the Cover FX 24 hour wear found, um, setting spray. And then on top of that, I'm gonna spray my MAC Prep and Prime setting spray, the matte one. So you know, that's what these two look like, matter of fact. As you can see it's a little dirty don't mind it and I took the top off of this one this is like a little like a travel size I guess yeah so I'm gonna spray that and then this one. I like this one cuz like the spray isn't like so aggressive like it's not aggressive it's just a nice little mist the lashes i put on i tried to find the calmest set of lashes that i have and obviously i don't own a pair like i mean these are pretty calm but they're not calm if that makes sense so 
yeah i would have just done no lashes but i don't got no lashes my lashes are like zero to none so anyway for my highlighter i'm going to use my stila highlighter as you can see i don't know if i'm like super super close and like y'all can't see nothing that i'm putting up to the camera so sorry but it's the heaven's hue highlighter i think what is this it's shade bronze uh this shade is just so beautiful it's just so pretty Remove the foundation off of my lips. Now I'm just going to moisturize and then line my lips, apply my lip gloss, and I'll be done. Women with locks do it better. That concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. I just feel like today was a really good day and that was shown throughout the video. Like the better the day, the more bubbly I am, the more goofy I am, the more Peyton you get out of me. So yeah, um, I love it. Like, you know, I feel like personally when it comes to everyday makeup looks, like that's where it all starts. It starts with the simple things and then you start to build your way up like me personally when it came to me doing makeup it started with mascara like just wearing mascara every day and then it moved up to me trying to learn how to do my eyebrows and then it turned into me doing eyebrows mascara no concealer right then bumps up to me doing eyebrows concealer mascara and the rest of my face no lashes you get what i'm saying like i was just or even like before all that start off with like colored lipstick and nothing else like just looking crazy but you know like you're just starting off like you're just learning so i feel like in this day and age like we have so much technology and the resources to learn and do everything properly properly so that way I'm not going out looking crazy like how i did when i was in middle school and high school but I guess what that's fine you have to start somewhere so yeah like I personally feel like I did a good job this is more so leaning towards um, an everyday makeup look rather than a no makeup makeup look because personally I need to get my skin in order before anything obviously <sighs> And then I could do a no makeup makeup look because then I would even use less products than the products that I did today. Like, I didn't do um, a whole face of foundation and then do my concealer and then my contour and then my powder. Like, it was just concealer, foundation on the outskirts, um, contour where it, it they're meeting, and then powder on the areas that I need to put powder in, like my T zone. So, yeah like I like doing this because for one especially during the summer because for one it's really lightweight um I'm not using as much product and I'm already oily enough so I feel like the less product the better but you know what I found out you know how every day you're supposed to put on sunscreen to well if you have hyperpigmentation or dark marks or whatever it keeps me be you put on sunscreen to stop and prevent those marks from getting darker but 
I work at a salon, like a spa slash salon. And an esthetician told me that wearing makeup also can be, you know, considered like sunscreen because it's that layer that's blocking your skin in the sun. So if you don't have makeup on, I'm not saying like I'm gonna start wearing makeup every day, but it's blocking the sun from direct skin and getting those dark marks darker, which is really cool. I didn't know that. So if y'all didn't know that, I'm sharing some information, sharing the wealth. So yeah, my black owned business for today goes to my sis Kayla. She has her own hair care health brand. Um, it's called Kinky Coils. And I will tag the at name in the video and in the description box. I believe it's Kinky Coils. Um, I think that's just the at name. I might be wrong though. So I'm going to correct myself when I put it in the description box and on the video. But this is what the bottle looks like. I got the refreshing scalp oil. And let me tell y'all. First of all, because we live in the same state. So I did a pickup order. I got it this morning and when I met her like as I was driving home um, like right here in the front of my hair it was really really itchy and dry so I'm like let me use this oil real quick so I at a stoplight squirt 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 rub it in and I start driving and it's just like this tingle sensation like like menthol or like tea tree oil or peppermint oil it just felt so freaking good i actually really really like this oil like you know how i feel like people don't try to give their honest opinion because you know like it's their friend or whatever but let me tell y'all this one is nice like it's real nice it smells good it smells natural yeah it smells natural and <clears throat> that i appreciate i really do i like i love natural products like that's like a good like if you say it's natural and I'm looking at the products and I'm looking at the ingredients and it's given it's natural you got my money hands down like easily I love natural products and it's handmade so you know you got some extra TLC put into it because we need it <laughs> so yeah that's my black owned business for today don't forget to follow her and subscribe to her channel because look my sis is coming for it all she got a business she has her own youtube channel and she's running it up on youtube too like you know for just making a channel she's running it up so subscribe to her channel i will put that in the description box and tag her down below as well so yeah give back support black owned businesses forever and always y'all already know the drill Y'all know what's up. That's what it's given from 2020 forever, beyond and beyond, because we've taken over. Black people are taking over. And that's just it. That's all. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. And you already know who to share it with. Share with your mothers, fathers, aunties, uncles, brothers, sisters, nieces, nephews, cousins long lost brothers god brothers got sisters boyfriend girlfriend family friends share with them all because i'm here to what i'm here to stay okay y'all should know this y'all should know like i'm not y'all not about to just roll me over bulldoze me over nope i'm here solid ten toes y'all not knocking me knocking my hustle but anyway i'm always talking like peyton shut up nobody's even worried about you like i'm always i'm always talking that rah rah like what are you even talking about what are you even talking about like that's what i have I, like i have to say that to myself I'm like peyton what are you even talking about anyway don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.